utterly unacceptable and indefensible. And the United Kingdom condemns these actions in the strongest terms. By permitting such actions to take place, the Ukrainian government is putting itself at odds with reasonable opinion all across the world. Uh, we have summoned the Ukrainian ambassador in London this morning to register our emphatic protest at these events and to call for immediate and far-reaching change in the attitude of the Ukrainian authorities to ensuring a peaceful and democratic settlement of the issues in Ukraine. It is not right to describe protesters as terrorists. A great, a great many of them, of course, are simply seeking a better future for their country. I think the European Union today has to act in a way that helps to stop the violence, uh, because without an end to the violence, there will be no other progress of any kind in, in Ukraine, either politically uh, or in the desperate economic situation of the country. Uh, so helping to stop the violence is the immediate priority. But of course, we also have to act in a way that ultimately promotes a peaceful and democratic settlement uh, of all of these issues. There has to be an international response uh, to what has happened over the last few days, and that is why we will be discussing uh, sanctions and measures against those responsible for the violence. It is time on all sides for people to turn away from violence, but the Ukrainian government, of course, bears the greatest responsibility and the particular responsibility uh, to take the lead in making sure that happens.